individuals can go ahead and complain about their managers if they actually send an email after working hours. Two of my cousins who started their career in 1995-1996 have went into retirement by 2013-2014. They always complained about overwork, they complained about stress. These guys were working in IT companies and they were working in these established giants even before the entire boom of IT wave started in India by 2000s. Now, why are these IT employees or consultants or a majority of other sectors complain about this stress? What is this hustle culture all about? Let's start with a simple example. You take any 30 to 40 year old in India and what are the two or three things that they talk about? They talk about early retirement or they talk about their back pain or they talk about how this entire stress is killing their family time. And this entire phenomenon started in early 2010s. Google, Facebook, Amazon, these are considered to be great companies in the product world. But what did these guys do? They promoted that hustle culture. They said, if you work late in the office, we will provide you food, dinner. If you come early, we'll provide you breakfast, free breakfast. We'll provide you the bus. You don't even need to buy groceries. We will buy those so that you don't even have to cook at home. Why are they promoting having a gym in the office? What is the need for all these glorified office spaces? absolutely nothing. It just promotes this entire overworking concept. And people are in now a stage where they believe if they don't overwork, they cannot move ahead in their careers. A famous Forbes article came out a few years back which said, if you want to succeed in your career, 9 to 5 is not enough. That is unfortunate. My father used to work in a high stress job, but he used to come back home at 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. I know a lot of my friends' fathers did the same. For them, if they have to spend an additional hour at work, it means it is OT, that is overtime. They would be paid that additional one hour's salary. Even today, the corporate world is suffering from this problem. But if you go into the entertainment industry, if you ask the junior artists, these junior artists are paid by the hour. 9 to 6, they have a 9 hours fixed slot, but if the shootings get extended by 2 hours, 3 hours, doesn't matter. They have to be paid for that additional hours. That is how a lot of industries, traditional industries are set up even today. Now, what can you and I do about it? Probably nothing to start with, but the government can change a lot of things. In Portugal, there is a law. Individuals can go ahead and complain about their managers if they actually send an email after working hours. It is not even a call guys. Can you imagine that happening in your company? The second thing, rather than having these kind of glorious office spaces, gyms, unnecessary dinners, free dinners, free breakfast, let company have these good benefits. For the folks who come in early and leave early, set up a nice benefit for them or make sure that the office buses, everything, the offices shut down themselves by 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. The third thing which is right now happening in the corporate world is something called as quiet quitting. People are resigning for any additional work that their manager is giving them. It is not about literally leaving your job, but quitting any other additional responsibility beyond your 9 to 6 or assigned job responsibilities. Why are people doing that? When everybody got used to this hustle culture, COVID helped us understand what a slow life would look like. And a lot of people actually enjoyed that life. So they don't want to unnecessarily push themselves. It is true. It could be you through quiet quitting. It could be your company through better benefits or making sure that the employees leave the office by 7 or 8 p.m. Or it could be the government itself. At all these levels, the reforms have to come in and only then we can put a check to that hustle culture and we can make people believe that success is possible even if you work just from 9 to 5. Thank you so much guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye.